more great Pokemon TCG product and prices, check out ccgcastle.com. Hello, Pokemon fans! I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and we are looking at my binder because we have done it once again. We have managed to complete and master the Sun and Moon base set. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we actually did it. This set was gargantuan, 163 cards plus energy, absolutely huge set, but we have managed to do it. I have one copy of every single card in Reverse Hollow and also in their standard form, whether it be Hollow or Reverse Hollow or whatever the case may be, non-Hollow and Reverse Hollow. Uh, we have finally done it thanks to some trades recently, so I want to thank everybody who traded with me to make this possible. But we're going to go through the set here and we're going to show you guys exactly every single card in this set. Like I said, all of the other rarities are underneath, but I put the Reverse Hollows on top because they look the nicest. But there we have our Decidueye GX, we've got our Lorantis GX, and sorry about the glare there, but we have everything there. All of the grass Pokemon, lots of grass in this set. Our final two here, Steeny and Serena. We've got our Litten, Torcat, and Incineroar line all the way up to Incineroar GX. We've got our Psyduck, Golduck, Poliwag. Poliwhirl, Polyrath, Shelter. There's our Cloyster and our Lapras GX. Then, moving on here, we've got our Poplio line with Primarina GX over here. Such a great set. It's very hard to collect. Very, very tough pull ratios. Lots and lots of ultra rares. Even after 11 booster boxes, we still came up 10 cards short in total. So I had to trade for 10 cards. We do have our uh, Espeon GX here. The good news is, out of my first six, no, first eight boxes, we did pull a master set of all of our reverse hollows. There's Lunala over there. So I didn't have to trade for any reverse hollows this time, which is a little unusual, because in the past, I have had to trade for lots and lots of reverse hollows to get the master set, but we pulled them all ourselves. We've got our Umbreon GX right there. Very, very nice looking card. Uh, we got our Sharpedo, which was the last holographic card I needed. We've got our Solgaleo GX down here. Only a few fairy types this time, just Snubble, Granbull, Cutie Fly, and Rabombi. Only three dragon types, Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite. Moving on to our normal types. We've got our Tauros GX, very, very good card. A lot of these GXs are actually quite playable, which is a nice refreshing change because we've had so many sets in the past that did not have playable GXs. Here's Gumshoes, probably the least playable of all of them, but that's okay. Pretty cool card nonetheless. All into our trainers. We've got all of our reverse hollow trainers. Nice and bright and shiny. Poison Barb, great tool, great tool card. I, I assume that we will see plenty of that in play uh, this season coming up after rotation or even maybe just before rotation. We might even see it for some of the Anaheim regionals. Now we're moving on to the cool stuff. All right, me personally, I love the full arts. We've got our Lorantis GX Full Art. This was a trade from my buddy Dakota Broski, so shout out to him if you guys want to check out his channel. We've got Lapras, um, we've got Espeon, we've got Lunala, and we've got Umbreon. Shout out to my buddy 8-Bit Bach, and also my buddy Jason who traded me for this as well. We've got Solgaleo, shout out to the Mega Evolution Guru for uh, sending me this. We've got a Tauros GX Full Art here. we got Gumshoes, Alima, we got Lily, shout out to Shadow TCG for that one. We got Professor Kukui, Team Skullgrunt, one of the nicest looking full arts in the set in my opinion. We got Lorantis Hyper Rare, shout out to my buddy uh, Primal Crew for this one. We got this Lapras down here, uh, this was also a trade as well. We've got Espeon, so shout out to Clef, uh, let's see here, the Curious Cleffa for this one. We got. Lunala GX, Hyper Rare, or I should say Rainbow Rare. These are Rainbow Rares. Ugh, I wish they were Hyper Rares, but no, the English had to do that to me. Uh, we got Umbreon GX, Rainbow Rare. Shout out to my buddy Master Cobra for that one. Solgaleo. We got Tauros. And we got Gumshoes. We got Nest Ball. We got Rodom Dex. We got our Switch from our Elite Trainer Box. Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball and Nest Ball actually came from my buddy Danny over at Dead Draw Gaming. I purchased those from him. Our Psychic Energy, and finally our Metal Energy, followed by all of the different energies that you can pull. 
in the set and I think there's one on this side so I put them all in here too even though they're not part of the set I feel like they needed to go there but there you go guys that is the complete Sun and Moon base set in one place a master set if you will because of all the reverse hollow and hollow and regular rarities of each of these cards so here it all is in one place probably the best looking page is right here all these full arts all these rainbow rares such a gorgeous set great art Great playability, and I look forward to seeing how Sun and Moon Base affects the meta in the game as we move on here. It's going to become legal as of the 17th of this month, so we are going to be seeing it making its first appearances here in Anaheim this coming weekend. So I look forward to seeing how that goes, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content as we complete more sets here on the Pokemon Evolutionaries. We've now completed everything from Call of Legends to current, all of black and white, all of XY, and now the very first set of Sun and Moon Base. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you guys next time. I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries. You all take care.